Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays for another episode of GTA Manhunt. Uh, Manhunt Checkpoint even. Yes, that one. And um, we're doing a new map today and we've done something a bit, a little bit different with this one. So each of the checkpoints, there is a primary and a secondary. And we've placed the primary in some awkward, difficult to get at place and then the secondary nearby. And the idea is that the prey will generally go for the secondary checkpoints rather than the primaries because they're much more accessible. And that's going to make it a little bit harder for the hunters because they won't have quite the same level of feedback as to exactly where the prey is. So we're going to see how that goes. As the other rules are generally otherwise the same, um, I have to try and uh, get through all of the checkpoints as, as quickly as I can. Or just try and get through them all with and, and survive and the hunters have to try and stop me uh, there's no maps no names over players to make things a little bit diff more difficult for them and so i'm going to try and uh, get to the first checkpoint now the primary for the first one is up there on top of red car park so i'm not going to go up there because that's going to be difficult and awkward but i think there's a drop off the um highway somewhere around here that might take me quite close to the uh to the secondary checkpoint so i think if i come off here off this jump that should bring me straight up towards the checkpoint like that. And there we go, that's one checkpoint. Boosh! <laughs> that was easier than I expected. Now, where's the second one? Um, okay, the second one is back the way I just came. But as usual, we're keeping the rule where the um, where the player has to where the hunt bleh, where the prey has to drop into sixth place before they can take the next checkpoint. So I now need to just head away from this one until the um, until my position bumps up to, uh, or down to six. Let's see how long it takes the hunters to notice that I've just grabbed that checkpoint. Because I think I did that quite smoothly. Um, I also think there might have to be a bit of a redesign of the map there. Or at least we're going to have to be thinking about the um, position of the... Uh, positioning of the um, hunters a little bit more. Because that is rather too easy a way of taking that checkpoint. I don't think it was meant to be quite so straightforward. I've also managed to pick up quite a nice car for myself, which, which is nice. Um, this is a, a Sentinel, as you can see, so on the back there, which is uh, one of the Coupe class, and, th and that's good because the Hunters are all driving Coupes as well, so that means I should be evenly matched against them. Um, there seems to be a good spawn set today, actually. We've got an Issy there, which I kind of like. I've got the Sentinel. There seems to be a couple of others of those around. I'm actually... Yeah, I, I approve. Ooh, and there's some, some more normal, boring cars around as well that I might switch to if I want something a bit more subtle. But at the moment, I need the I need the hunters to uh, to do me a favour and to or to all all um all rush in and grab that checkpoint so I can go on for the, to get the next one. And I think the next one is going to be interesting. It's um on a fairly it's it's on a three way junction. So there's 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 a couple of different ways to I could come at to come to come against come to it from. Uh, so there's some options there, but I don't know which is going to be the best way. I'm quite tempted to head over. Um, to the east, actually, which is the other way. If I turn around here, head back over this way. Maybe if... I, because I'm aware... We used to have, on one of the other maps, there's a checkpoint just on the other side of that um, block down there. And I'm aware that there's a way through off-road, but I don't think it's going to be quite so usable from the other direction. But I can head down there and have a look. Still only in fourth. Come on, guys. <laughs> Takes the I wonder if they must have noticed that I've taken the checkpoint, surely. They can't be that oblivious. They must they must know and they're just sort of being slow about it? I don't know. Maybe they maybe this maybe some of them are having trouble finding it. I don't I, I don't I don't know, but I need them to t I need them all to Oh there we go, there's sixth place. Right, good. The game is afoot. <laughs> now I can head down here and let's see, this is heading down into the um Vespucci Canal sort of area. Which is about, I mean, it's 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 one way to approach the checkpoint. I I I could try and get it from this direction, even by road. But I'm going to see if I can do the off-road bit from here because it's just too tempting not to, really. Come on, car in front of me. In fact, come on, traffic lights, change colour, please. Uh, yes. Yeah, so there's that's that's that little off-road bit, but I don't know whether it's realistically possible to get into it from the other side. But it's it's so tempting and such a good good route in if I can manage it. That I just wanted to give it a shot. So where are we? Oh, this is Chinese monument. Am I quite where I'm? Um, this is where I 
stop in traffic and have a look at the map a bit. Okay, so if I head, I'm coming from the north, so if I turn left to go across there, that'll bring me back towards the first checkpoint. Actually, if I stay on this road a bit further and take the one, two, three, fourth left, then that'll bring me up where I want to be. Okay, let's do that. I can't even see the traffic lights. What are we waiting for here? This is just a... Okay, we're going now, apparently. I, I, I don't understand this junction. I... I couldn't see any traffic lights, but the cars were all waiting as if they were, as if they were, well, lights. It's very strange. Okay, so that's one. <laughs> so there's the difficult to get to um, checkpoint for this check uh, checkpoint. I'm not going to go and try and take that one because that seems a little brave. Um, how am I doing? Is this, this must be the. Is this the third one? Does it split just up there? Oops. <laughs> oh, don't do that. I don't seem to have damaged my car. Okay. Um, if this is where I think it is, then it's... Actually, I'm, I could just go up here anyway. No, I think it's the next one that I want. Yeah, that's the big crossroads. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the obvious way to check. Yes, yeah, so down there is going into, into the canals. So, it's, yes, it is definitely this one. I'm just going to overtake here because I've don't want to wait around any longer. So if I go up here, now the checkpoint is through all of these buildings to my right. So the question is, is there a way through? He's sort of probably not there. That's, I think, yes, that's the jump that takes me the other way. Okay, maybe there isn't a way through then. I'm going to investigate this car park anyway, to see if I can get through here. Yes, this looks very promising. Go up these steps. I think the checkpoint should be just over. Yes, there it is. So let's go through that. Fairly innocently. I think I got away with that. That's good. <laughs> yeah, uh, they. Um, this new map does appear to be causing the hunters some difficulties. They seem to be struggling to um, actually spot where I'm, how I'm taking the um, check, check the checkpoints. And I don't know whether that's down to lack of familiarity with the um, with the map itself or whether it's because the, the new way we've got them laid out is a bit more is a bit more difficult but yeah I'm, um, I'm pleased with that they don't seem to be behind me so now the next one is down at the airport this is going surprisingly well so far I mean I feel like this is going to be a famous last words thing because the airport is a notoriously difficult one to do in gen the, the airport is a notoriously difficult area to deal with just in general, because there's, it's 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 a bit of a dead end. Yes, there are multiple ways into it. I've talked about I've, I've talked about this in previous videos. I won't go over it in quite so much detail this time. Um, there are multiple ways in, um, but they're all coming in in more or less the same direction. So this time, I'm looking at the map here. It, it's a bit tricky to tell. I can't. I'm not sure whether the. Oh no, I'm looking at the wrong thing. So the difficult to get at checkpoint is going to be the one that's is going to be on top of the uh, the car park. In fact, most a lot of them are on car parks, as far as I can tell. Which is good because it, it slows you down. It makes it diff difficult to get to them. So that's exactly what we want. Um, so there's the ones on the top of the car parks, um, uh, but the the normal one is just on the airport loop. So if I go into the airport and drive around the loop and then um, try and just try, try and drive around it in a sort of a fairly normal way, then maybe that'll that'll work. I think a good way to do this could be to come in across the um, the big spaghetti junction thing on the entrance um where am i exactly I, I, I mean i know i'm in the ghetto but it's all a, it's all a bit samey and difficult to difficult to navigate i th think if i come around here to the left now i haven't been in sixth place yet actually so let's let's not hurry at all okay so this is where the railway line curves yeah so if i follow this road down That'll drop me onto the um, onto the main road that goes through the through the spaghetti junction bit and then into the airport. I can then go round there. I can go round the the one way system in the correct direction. They'll all know that I'm in there, but hopefully I'll be tricky to find. I guess we'll see. See how that goes. <laughs> that white car nearly jumped the line. If I did, if I didn't know better, I I would think that looked like a player driving, trying to pretend to be an AI. But um, no, I think it just shows the AI, AI aren't that good at driving either. <laughs> Come on, I need two more of you to overtake me. 
third. No, that's the wrong way. Do you mind? I'm going to say. So I don't want to hurry down here too much because I'm further ahead than I want to be in the positions. I need to drop to sixth before I can take the checkpoint. So, come on guys, overtake me please. <laughs> Okay, so I follow this road down, twitching back and forth across the lane as I try and drive sensibly. Stop at the I Don't get to stop at these lights. I'm in second place now. Am I just going to have to turn around and go away and then come back again? I guess I am. I'll go the wrong way at this junction deliberately. So the airport is down there, through, th across that, under that, under that bridge, across that bridge, through, just generally through there in a straight line, straight down there. And that'll take me into the one-way system around the airport. That's definitely a hunter. I'm not going to hang around. I think that was Paul. Looking at the colour... That, that's going by the colour of the car. Um, the sort of the weird pink camouflage thing. Yes, that one. I believe is Paul. Um, he's either not noticed me or he's... I don't know. Okay, I'm going to come off this main road now, actually go down here. Just to try and, you know, try and sneak away a little bit. Okay, that's fifth place now. I'm nearly, nearly in last place. <laughs> nearly there, nearly there. Ooh, let's try and stay on the road. Some, oh, there we go, there's sixth place. Right. Now, I can head back in. And I'm going to try and drive relatively sensibly. Because I know that Paul is lurking around. And the fact that my position is changing around quite a bit does suggest that there are, there's at least one hunter in the vicinity. I and mean, there he is, moonwalking, moon driving up the, um, up the road. Now this is sort of putting me off coming in this way a little bit because... For no, sake, I wish the AI wouldn't just randomly drive into you like, oh dear, I'm on the wrong side of the road. Um, it's okay, he's far enough away, he won't have seen that. This time... I'm hopefully going to be able to just head straight down here. I don't know. It's that old. Do you? I've got that old dilemma again. If there's, if you can't see any hunters around, do you run the red light in order to try and keep the m momentum up and try to stop them working out where you are, or do you wait just in case they're around and you haven't noticed them? And that light green car down there, I believe, is Yun's. So. There is a hunt. There is a hunter nearby who's probably going to notice when I drive past him. Now, if I'm lucky, oh, there goes Paul. If I'm lucky, <laughs> they'll just have a fight with each other. That works too, I suppose. Um, as I was saying, yeah, they're, okay, they're they're both heading off back in towards the airport, so that's good from my point of view. Crazy. They've left a random motorbike in the middle of the road there, but I can drive around that. That's not a problem. And the question is, can I get past them here without them getting suspicious? Apparently I can. Awesome source. So what, I'm, what I could do, I've got a choice here. I can either pull off the, um, the main road, come, go down the exit uh, just up here on the left and try and cut across. Or I can just stick with this and head all the way around the airport loop. And I think I'm going to do the airport loop because it's going to be easier. There we go. There's the next. Uh, there's the next funny business uh, checkpoint up there on the top. Um, I could try and get up there using the that jump with the mini coming off the top of it on my left. That would be. I mean, if I manage that, that would be awesome. But I suspect it would probably go wrong. So I'm going to tr just to continue around here. I'm going to stick with taking the secondaries for the, for now, and maybe in a future run I'll try and be a bit clever, a bit more, a bit more showboaty, and try and take the um, some of the primaries for now, I think, if I just continue around here, and yes, there it is. There's Mike nearby. That's going to have given me away. Are they following me? Yes, yes, they are. Okay, now it's a chase. Well, I was lucky with the first two. I managed to sneak those ones. But now, um, um, now, 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 the, now the chase is on, and I have to actually drive a bit more... Um, Fleeingly, Ooh. that didn't go quite quite as smoothly as intended. 
Oh, actually, I take it back. He's obviously got tangled up on that car as well. <laughs> That's good news for me. I'm going to just keep going straight for now. I, I have quite a quick car, and I should have some maneuverability advantage over at least the big Windsors. Um, but I think at this point, I want to just cover some distance. So, where am I going? <laughs> I just lost traction completely, and um, yeah, I don't know. Did anyone notice me? No, I think I think I think I got away with that. Okay, yeah, I had a bit of I had enough distance on them that I was able to just have a bit of a mistake there with the sliding and the going through those gardens and that general off-roady bit without having uh, too much of a listen. Okay, I think I've got away. Now I've said this before um, more than once and been very very wrong about it, so I'm not going to slow down too much yet. But I am going to think about the next checkpoint. Okay, that's over by the multicolour car park. Um, which is way off to the west. So I'm going to carry on up this side a bit. That's a buffalo, I think. I think a buffalo is a sports car. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a sports. Okay, I can't use this one. I'll just use it for long enough to find another car. I won't take any checkpoints in it. Uh, so yeah, as, as I've I've probably said before many, many, many times. The uh, we have a we have a, uh, a rule in this game that the the prey isn't allowed to use any sports or supercars, and there's a good reason for that. It's because the um, if if the prey's vehicle is too fast, then the, then you end up with them having a bit too much of an advantage over the uh, over the hunters. And if you have a race, it's almost impossible for them to catch catch you. <clears throat> but if you put the if you put the hunters in the sports or supercars as well, which make, makes it fair, but it makes the um, the chase is a lot less interesting because you're more likely to have a high-speed accident and things are just going to go horribly, horribly wrong for everybody. So we re we reckon that having coupes or worse as our car class, so we put the hunters in coupes and the prey is allowed anything that isn't a sports or a super. So ideally I want another coupe, which I think this might be. Stop it. No, no, no. No. Do as you're told. I was trying to steal that car, it didn't work, the control system just didn't want me to. So I'm going to take this Mini instead. And I'm going to put the roof up, because it makes it a bit... Put the roof up. Put the roof up! Well, I was going to use this Mini, it's now got a massive scratch on the back of it. I could take that... I don't know what that is. It looks like it looks like a muscle car, I could take, could take that. Now let's try and try and find something a bit more innocent. Why is the roof not going up when I press and put the roof? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, I don't know why it didn't work the first three times, but it worked the fifth time, so I won't. I'll stop complaining now. Okay, fifth place. What's the best way to take this? So again, this is going to be. <laughs> well, that's a hunter clearly. Uh, still in fifth place though. So oh, now I'm in fourth. Is that because I'm heading in the correct direction and he wasn't? I think it might be. Okay, maybe I'll maybe I'll do a left turn here and just try and get a bit further away than, than he is. And keep keep my eyes open for a car that doesn't have a massive scrape on the back of it from being from having an AI drive into it. You'd think they'd be a little bit more careful with their own cars, wouldn't you? But no no, apparently not. Maybe it's trying to discourage me from stealing them. What's this one? Is that another intruder? It is. That, okay, the intruder I took earlier was terrible. I don't want another one of those. That looks like a oh, I don't know what that is. It's different though. I think it's the same as the one I tried to steal earlier and didn't manage. It's doing it again. Oh, it's an oracle. Awesome. I like oracles. And again, they've done the driving. Oh, it didn't seem to pick up any damage. But yeah, what as has been mentioned many a time before, the, the damage isn't guaranteed to sink between different sessions in this game. So the fact that I'm not seeing any damage on the car doesn't mean that they're, the other hunters won't. Which is a little bit awkward, but um, yeah, we'll I'll have to just have to deal with it. Right, so if I head along, straight along this road, this will drop me... Where am I exactly? I'm on, yeah, oh, I'm on that one. This will drop me right into the, straight through the middle of the checkpoint. Let's take this road a bit and see see what it's like, see how many hunters there are around. Because I've got quite a good car, so I'm not too worried about them seeing me. I might be able to outrun them. Well, I'm, I don't know if I'll be able to outrun them in a straight line, but I'll be able to hopefully be able to outrun them and outdrive them in a sort of combination of doing awkward things just to throw them off a bit. So, yeah, let's give that a try. So for now, sneaky, sneaky time. Uh, 
I'll just head over here, trying to obey at least some of the more sensible traffic laws. And also trying to keep my eyes peeled for hunters. So we know at the moment, two of them are further away than me. Oh no, no, they're all closer than me now, they've, they've, they've passed me. So they were all somewhere ahead, somewhere closer to at least the, the difficult part checkpoint. So the reason we're doing this whole thing with the uh, with the two part checkpoints, with with the primary in a, in a weird awkward place and the secondary on a on a junction, is because GTA measures the distance to the uh, to the next checkpoint and, and and shows you in the bottom right corner there. So as you can see, I'm now in fourth place, getting gradually up the ranks, um, and the hunters can also see the same information for themselves. Now they use that to try and work out where the prey is, and we've noticed that the prey has been struggling quite a lot recently. We've, the, the hunters have got quite good at this game because we've played it so much. So the prey is, has it's got to the point where the prey has been struggling to actually take all of the checkpoints. So we thought we'll do something to make it a little bit harder. And so this means that instead of the hunters having a warning when I'm about to take the checkpoint, they now just have a warning that I'm sort of in the general area. They can still use their uh, position indicator to tell them whether they're closer than me. So if they drive past a queue of cars and their position changes, then I might be in that queue, so they, they, they can use that to try and help find me, and it's a bit of a shame, if we could have got rid of that instead, we would have done, but that's not in the way the game works, unfortunately. So what we do, so what this does is it just makes it, it means they can't tell that, oh, the, the prey is about to take the checkpoint, because there have been so many times in the past where I've pulled up next to the checkpoint, trying to look like a normal, a normal car, um, and then a hunter has, and then the hunters have gone oh he's about to take the checkpoint so they've then just gone in there and they know exactly where I am and they can just shoot, try and shoot up all the cars or look really closely at the cars. This gives you a little bit more sort of fuzz around the checkpoint I guess in a way because if, it, if I'm approaching in this one for example the, the, um, the, pr the primary checkpoint is just off to the west of the, of the secondary so if I approach from the west I'll go into first place then drop down a little bit probably depending on exactly where they are because I'll get further away from the checkpoint before I actually take it because I'll go through the secondary whereas if I come in from the east as I as I am doing in fact uh, then it'll look like I'm it'll look like I'm getting gradually closer and closer but then I'll take it before I've actually got to it as far as, as far as they're concerned and that and so that because and then because I could come in from any direction that sort of uncertainty essentially means that the hunters have a little bit more a little bit more it makes it a little bit harder for them essentially because they can't tell quite so easily where I am and therefore they can't get the drop on me quite as well and it seems to be working so far I've um, I've done significantly better in this one than I was doing in any of the any of the rounds last week I've taken three checkpoints which is uh, yeah it's it's halfway it, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing too badly I'm, I'm, I'm fairly happy with that so yeah, I think it's done what we were what we were looking for, given the hunters a bit more to think about. There are also quite a lot of hunters today. We've got we've got five again. No, we've got yeah, we've got six players, so five hunters. Um, and that having more hunters is both it's both a blessing and a curse for them. Oh, there's the one on top of the car park ahead of me. You can see it there, <laughs> floating in the air. So yeah, I'm I'm not going to try and get that one, at least not in this round. Um, yeah, it's a blessing and a curse for them because they've got more people to chase with. They've got more people who can try and pile in on any chase. More people who can guard the approaches to the checkpoints. So that gives them a bit of an advantage compared to when they've got fewer fewer hunters. But on the flip side, there's more of them, more people for them to keep track of, and more numbers for them to worry about as they're as they're playing. So it makes so that makes it a little bit more difficult for them. I've been spotted, I think. <laughs> At least if he hasn't spotted me, he's doing it wrong. So, yeah, that was that was quite clever what he was doing there. I think he was. Oh, he's been intercepted by Yuns. So that's awesome. Um, I think what he was trying to do there was blo essentially block the road and then just as a, and then just allow one car to go through at a time after he'd checked them by having a look in to see if it looked like me. Um, corner, corner, corner. There we go. So that, yeah, that's quite clever, um, and it, it was essentially it, it was working um, because I couldn't get past him. So yeah, <laughs> well done. That's a good tactic. Um, but of course, I was able to just then flee and start trying to run as soon as as soon as um, I knew that he was going to check my car. So yeah, it's um, 
Yeah, it was a good technique. I mean, it, it meant that I couldn't get past him without me, without him knowing I was there, and that's that. I think is what he was presumably what he was going for. I mean, yes, he would. Oh no! Oh no! 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 This is bad. That's why it's bad. <laughs> that's why it's worse. No. Can I get past that tree? I can't. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. No, there's more trees. No, steering the wrong way. They're shooting. Ah. Uh, I think I've got out of that with all of my tyres intact. Unfortunately, this is a bit of a dead end. Come on! Yes! <laughs> oh yes, Tristan didn't quite manage to uh, pull that. That that was that was a hail mary. That was just a. If I can't get it, if I, if I can't ram the car out through that, then I'm dead. Fortunately, it made it. What? <laughs> At least most of the car made it. I, I probably left a couple of body panels behind. And I think there's some bullet holes in the back of the car now. Now, I think, yes, Yuns is still behind me. Um, he, ooh. I don't know. Oh, no. I was going to say, I don't know how, how his driving compares to mine. But if I then just roll my car over, <laughs> it doesn't matter how good my driving is compared to his. Well, I mean, I suppose that just shows my driving's worse. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't flip the car back over then. I think I might not have been pressing the right combination of buttons to break physics. Oh well. Thank you for watching. <laughs> See you next time. Good. You're very good, Lawrence. This is all the recording. I say that. I've got a black muscle car just going to the. Ch uh, not muscle. I've got black. So no, I mean never take from genius. This one here. This one here. This one here. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Uh, I think he's taken it because I'm red. really close to the primary. Still. Yeah, he has. This this black one here in front of us. It's in, in the car park. No, we're on the highway on now. The highway route. Taking the right towards Mace right, Bank Arena. Right. Go around me, he's taking the right exit. Uh. He's heading around some of the motorway past the uh, car park. He's out of visual range though. Okay. Yeah, I believe I've lost him. Yeah, he is um, he's within uh, Chinese market. Within a block, I think. Yeah, he, he's about a block away, I, I would say. A little bit more than that. I've just got the second. I'm two blocks away and can see the checkpoint. I'm now third. Something just overtook me. Who's second? That white car, Mike? Thank you. It looks a bit tough, Yes, yes that's him.
Just Got went him. past the Yep. Passing Chinese Monument on the north side of it. Got him. It's a... Turning north. Grey sedan. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose that's grey rather than white. Heading straight north towards Life Invader. That's a fairly quick car. Yeah, but beyond him, he will eventually kill himself. You setting your boat is uh, concerning. Where is he? Uh, looping round, yeah, heading towards movie studios. Okay. Uh, might we going to go into the loop movie studios? Yes, we're going through movie studios. Uh, towards multicolored car park, I think. Anyways. Straight uh, through. Yes, passing turn. the north side of multicolored car park. Towards the pier entrance. Turning south there. He slid. Let's give him a nudge. Yeah. Are you done, sir? He went out? Uh, yeah, he's being shot at. Uh, I think I there's no way out of this. Yes, Damn it. Right. Yeah. Nope, he's just wedged it and gone through. I can't do the same. Where, where, there you where go, Jens. I've lost that. Uh, heading down the highway. I got you out, I've got myself out. <laughs> <laughs> I just found an abandoned car, of course. When you say down the highway, you mean south down the highway? Uh, yes. Heading towards Zancudo. Yes. That direction. And then turning right, following the main road up. Yeah, he's circling back to Vinewood. Uh, I've lost sight of him, hopefully Jans can see him. I'm on him. He's tanked himself. He has not taken the Excellent, he's upside down. And I'm Robots, keeping Robots. him, yeah. Right, I went the opposite direction and cut him off, so I will take a second to get over to you guys. He's lost the tyre, and part of his health. There we go. Good work. Uh, oh, I'm getting his car, apparently. <laughs> not what I intended. Where, where actually is he? Uh, Dead. If you, uh, where are the, we? The cemetery. Uh, yeah. The cemetery. Okay. Hello. 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 I think I wasn't pressing the right combination of buttons to break physics to turn my car back over. <laughs>